Well hello and welcome to my latest video. I'm wearing a cap. What does the cap signify? Cap signifies an unboxing. Yes, I was contacted by a Chinese company called Suke. I'll put the contact details down below in the video. In fact, they contacted me about a year ago and I did a video about their kit. And they emailed me a few weeks ago, or a month ago or so, and said, we'd like you to do another video about our kit. And I said, yep, I'd be glad to. And then they said, when you do the video, could you focus a bit more on the kit and a bit less on yourself? And I said, well, you've seen the kind of videos that I do. And if you don't like what I do, then forget it. And they emailed back and said, no, 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 that's not what we meant. We want you to do a video. So I'm waiting now with bated breath for a delivery. I had a, one of those um, messages from UPS saying, please go on to this website and send us uh, $40,000. And then we'll be stop. God, God, got it. Oh, bloody UPS. Thanks, UPS. I don't know. Anyway, oh, here it is. And this is my new pile of suke kit from china well his hope is i've have ordered quite a few things from china let's go so let's hope this is the right one let's open it up see what we've got and actually i said ups didn't i oh god i just sent forty thousand dollars to uh ups and it's fedex i expect i'll get another email from fedex saying in order to uh fully release even though i've now got it in order to fully release this package uh please go on this website and give us your bank details and uh so of course i'll do that once this video is finished so let's see what's in the package it's exciting isn't it now let's see oh look it says there you are see that suke i'm not sh quite sure if that's how you pronounce it but s-o-u-k-e so it may be suke or it may be suke and it says suke cycling couture and on the back it says where cycling gear meets fashion well <laughs> if anybody is a fashion icon in this day and age it's moi so that's the first item and that is men's cycling bib tights black 2xl now the first stuff that they sent me they, they obviously thought i was like a uh, a, a little guy so they sent me some kit and frankly i couldn't get it on and if you watch the previous video you'll see that i couldn't get it on so i said i'm a i'm a bit of a big fella you know it's i've been i've been stuffing myself so send us some decent sized kits so hopefully this will fit a bit better anyway that's the cycling big tights what else have we got we've got um a suke men's cycling vest gray see suke the where cycling no it says sorry about this cycling couture where cycling gear meets fashion and what's the third is it a third item yes it's a third item get rid of the single use packaging and this is I'm not sure what this is this is so i need to take my glasses off men's cycling long sleeve jersey ginger that's interesting do you think they knew or do you think they know that i used to be and in some places still am a ginger so they've sent me some kit that will match my ginger ginger status so what you're thinking is okay julian you've done the unboxing now show us the kit in a bit more detail and put it on i will put it on may not put on the bib tights may put on the bib tights and tell you about them but i'm going to try on these other bits of kit so uh, bear with me because i'm about to disappear into the uh the clark kent superman phone box which is just over there and i shall emerge dressed in suitcase cycling kit so bear with bear with okay well i've moved into the uh the separate section of the studio the one that i use for for trying on different bits of kit and as you can see i'm wearing a wearing a base layer this is not a suitcase base layer by the way this is a, a base layer and i'm going to remove from the packaging the ginger gingeriferous um Oops. long sleeve jersey oh, I think that's 
Look at that. Oh, that's rather nice, don't you? Look at that. Now, this is, this isn't ginger, I suppose, in the way that uh, uh, my head here and other hair is ginger. This is uh, ginger, you know when you buy a piece of fresh ginger in the market to make your, to make your tea, then what you end up with is something of this kind of colour. So I hold it up like that and sorry, hold it a little bit closer, can you see it? You can see that. So it's got, it's got long sleeves, as you know, and it's got stuff written on it. Let's see if you can quite follow that. I think it says things like pro and bike and stuff like that. It may be difficult for the camera to focus. I may have to do some separate kind of filming so you can get a better view of that. And on the back it says uh, suke or souk and that is keep keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. It's always good advice for us cyclists, isn't it? Okay, well let's let's lower the zip. Um, actually while I'm doing that let me tell you a little bit more about the product. They did ask me to focus more on the product, and they're, they're quite right, I should do. Uh, it's got three pockets, as you can see, one, two, three. On the middle pocket it says keep pedalling, and here it's got a fourth pocket, which has a zip, so you can see there. Can you see that? That fourth pocket which has got a zip. The material, uh, there's a label here, see there's the label, and it says main fabric 58% polyester, 26% uh, graphene, that's interesting, and 16% spandex. Now I bought some um, tires uh, yeah, some Vittoria Corsa, Corsa tyres that had graphene in them. Oh, I'm getting confused. Was it something else? I think it was graphene, actually. And the inner is uh, uh, a grey coloured material. I can't tell you if this is what they call a particular technical fabric or whether it's uh, waterproof. I, I wouldn't have thought it's waterproof. I would imagine it's quite warm and uh, oh, I rather like that. Um, I will say, as I've said before, um, in case it wasn't clear, uh, Suke sent me these products for free uh, to do a video about, but they have not paid me any money to say nice things about their products. Now that's 2XL on me, and I was, I was talking with my mate Jib actually this morning, um, about uh, fat cyclists and he was saying I, I shouldn't fat shame fat cyclists. I'm not going to fat shame myself. I'm, uh, what, what do they call people like me, um, apart from, you know, overweight and fat bastards and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm probably well padded. Is that curvy is what the ladies like to be described. Shall I, shall I show it to you from the back? What do I look like from the back? So I, I kind of jig? Shall I move my arms? Get the movement. It's it's tight. It's not too tight. I probably prefer a three XL for myself. Uh, I'm six foot, by the way, and I weigh a uh, sorry. I'm six foot high, and I weigh about thirteen stone. So if that gives you some assistance, and that's it's a it's a souk or suke there, and that quite nice kind of deckly look. And here is the label. I'm not sure there's much to be gained from the label. It says, please note, we will only accept returns if this label remains attached to the product. It probably means remains attached to the jersey, or if it remains attached to me, it's currently attached to the product. Uh, anyway, I like that jersey, and I think it's an unusual colour isn't it? Uh, ginger, not ginger like my hair or not my other hair. Um, it's ginger as in fresh ginger. Okay, well let's, I'll leave that on because I think what this item of clothing probably is, is what we call, well I say we, um, I say what is usually called a gilet, they call it a vest, but I think it's a, it's a gilet. 
And that is, what do you call that? I call that, call that kind of, kind of grey, uh, kind of, not, not navy grey, but kind of battleship grey. Would you call that sort of battleship grey? And on the back, there are three pockets, yeah, three pockets, uh, hang on, no. What you've got, that's interesting, it's quite a nice design point there, sorry, I'm trying to, so this is a pocket, all right, does that make sense? That's a pocket within the G-Lay. This one is access to your jersey pocket, so you can put your hand through the G-Lay to access your pockets in your jersey, but also there is a little flap there, so it is also a pocket. That's very clever, isn't it? I've not seen that before. And here is a tie, oh yes, a cord that allows you to tighten the gile once you've put it on. So let me just loosen that. Um, it's got a kind of sort of mesh fabric here at the back, so you, because you don't want to sweat too much when you're wearing this kind of gilet. So I can unzip it, and if I check the fabric makeup on the label, I hope Suke are happy that I'm going through this in quite some detail, and it's 100% polyester, and then it says fabric for backside, 92% uh, polyester, 8% spandex. Uh, I'm not sure my backside is 92% uh, polyester, but sometimes what comes out of it is 92% polyester anyway. So let's try this one. This is also a 2XL, by the way, and I was saying to my mate Jim earlier that I was I was carrying a little extra poundage, and uh, oh, oh, oh dear, ooh, that, uh, I might, I might, uh, ooh, uh, I'm not sure I can breathe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, this is a 2XL, and this over my base layer and over my jersey is too tight, okay? So it's a very nice garment. Uh, it fits, but well, it would be wrong to say it fits very well because it doesn't fit very well on me. But if you were a bit smaller than me, uh, I think the fit would be very nice. And it's got this, this double zip. I don't know if you can see, so you can open it from the bottom as well as the top. I'm going to just have to open it from the top because I could whew, have to stop breathing there. But I think it's a very nice garment. And what's more, it can fold up, I suspect, into, yes, look at that, into something that could fit very easily into your jersey pocket. So I think that's a, a very nice garment and I think the um, jersey that I'm wearing is a very nice garment. So let's take out the, I think I said bib shorts. Did I say bib shorts? I actually meant bib tights. So I think these are long legged bib tights. Let's just have a look at those. And can you see them clearly? I think you can. It says Suke there at the back, and they are XXL. And there is the the pad in it there. Okay. And let me see the material for these. If I can find the label. Um, I can't offhand find the label, but they have this kind of, I think this is called Roubaix fabric, uh, which means it should be warm against the skin, and they have a zippered ankle section there, can you see that? And obviously the same on the other leg, and let me see, these... Can you see these here? I imagine these are reflective bits on the back of the shorts. And what was I looking for? I was looking for a looking for a label, wasn't I? I was struggling to find a label so I could tell you what 
the material is that's important to you. And well, there's the shorts inside out. And as you can see, well, I was about to say, as you can see, I'm warm, but uh, <laughs> that's probably rather too much information there. Um, anyway, I can't, I can't see the label to tell you what the material is. May say it on here. Does it say it on here? No, it doesn't say it on here. Anyway, I think those are rather nice. Uh, I'm, uh, if I'm honest, I'm reluctant to try them on because you'd want to see them with the kind of bibs over my my bare upper body, and I, I think you know after what is it seven weeks of Liz Trust? I mean, I think you've, I think you've suffered enough. Haven't you? Let's be honest. But I think those are a rather nice pair of bib longs. And I don't know the price of this, but I shall check on the Suke website and I shall put a note and a link to Suke uh, with the prices uh, below this video. So, just to recap, this is the long sleeved jersey 2xl is the one that i'm wearing and this color is called ginger this is a gilet which is also uh, 2xl which is in a kind of rather attractive gray color and these are the bib longs also in 2xl size or xxl size they are from a company called Suke. They sent me them for nothing. And I will uh, go out and wear, I may wear this tomorrow actually, because I'm going for a ride with my mate Simon. And um, it's a little bit tight. Then I'm on a diet, actually. Well, no. um, to be, it would be more accurate to say I'm planning to go on a diet. It's not really accurate to say I'm on a diet. Uh, my lovely wife, Jane, uh, bought me a box of after eight minutes. Uh, minutes? A box of after eight mints. And uh, I started them yesterday, but I stopped after eight. Yes, I stopped after eight. Uh, or was it ten? No, I think it was eight. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope Suke are pleased with what I've said about their products, because I think they're nice products. Give you a link to the price and the website. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.